In this video, I'm going to show you six examples of how to evaluate powers when the exponents are both negative and also fractions. Okay, so I've got three questions here, and then after that I've got three on another page. Um, for this video, this is a good idea with every video, but in particular with this video, I would strongly suggest that you, uh, you work along with me. So you, like, right before I start the question, pause the video and then see how much of it you can do on your own, if, or if you can do all of it on your own, or if you get stuck and don't know how to start, or just see how you're doing on it. Um, and then restart it and see what I do with it. Okay. So here we've got 9 to the exponent negative a half. So there's sort of two things to deal with here. There's the the negative exponent and then the fractional exponent. And one way we can sort of explain this, I won't do this every time, but I'll show this now, is that we've got 9 to the exponent negative 1 times a half. Okay. And you can also do 9 to the exponent a half times negative 1. Um, and so you have to deal with the two things, and you can deal with them in either order. Sometimes there's an order that's a bit quicker or easier, um, but as long as you don't make any mistakes, either way works perfectly well. Okay, so I'm going to deal with the, the negative 1 first. So I'm going to take the reciprocal of the base, and I'll have 1 over 9. So that's 9 to the negative 1. I've got all of that to the exponent, oops, to the exponent 1 half. Put a bit of weight up there, so it's 1 ninth to the exponent 1 half. Um, so that means it's the square root of a ninth because that's what an exponent of a half is. You can put a little 2 there if you want. Um, and the square root of 1 ninth is 1 third, because 1 third times 1 third is 1 ninth. Okay, so 9 to the exponent 1 half is a th 1 over 3. Okay, here's another one. We have 25 to the exponent negative 1.5. Um, so anytime you're, almost any time you're dealing with uh, exponents, it's easier to change all decimals to fractions. So I'll start off and do that. 25 to the exponent, and this is 1 and a half, so it's 3 over 2. Okay. And now just like this one, I can deal with the negative first or the 3 over 2 first. Um, I am going to do the negative first. So we'll say this is 1 over 25 the exponent positive 3 over 2. Okay, and now we'll rewrite that as a radical. So this is the square root of 1 over 25, all of that cubed. Okay, and then the square root of 1 25th is 1 over 5, 1 fifth. So that's still cubed, and that is equal to 1 over 125. Okay. In the next one, we have 32 to the exponent negative 3 over 5. Um, so that will give us... If I do the negative part first, we've got 1 over 32 to the exponent 3 fifths. And then I'll rewrite my fractional exponent as a radical. So it's the fifth root of 1 over 32 cubed. So the numerator went down to the radical to be the index of the radical, and the denominator is still, is still an exponent. So the fifth root of 132 is 1 half, because 2 to the exponent 5 is 32. 2, 4, 8, 16, 32. So we've got 1 half. And I haven't done that exponent 3 yet, so I still have 1 half to the exponent 3. And 1 cubed is 1, and 2 cubed is 8. So that's equal to 1 eighth. Okay, so here we've got three more questions. Now remember, if you forgot partway through, remember to uh, pause the video, see what you can do on the question, uh, and, then, and then watch the video um, to help you if you got stuck. Okay, so here we've got 0 0.25 to the exponent negative 5 over 2. Alright, so it's much more obvious what to do if we change that 0 0.25 to a fraction. That's a fourth, or a quarter. Okay, 
Okay, so I haven't done anything with the exponent yet. I just changed the base from a decimal to a fraction. Okay, so now I'm going to deal with the negative part of the exponent by taking the reciprocal of the base. So that's going to give me 4 to the exponent of 5 over 2. And if I write that as a radical, that's the square root, or the second root of 4, to the exponent 5. Two to the exponent five, which is thirty-two. Okay, in E we have one over eighty-one to the exponent negative zero point seven five. So we'll change that decimal rate to a fraction. So zero point seven five. That's three quarters. Okay. And now I'll take, I'll deal with that negative part of the exponent first. So this will be 81 to the exponent 3 fourths. And if I write this as a radical, I'll have the fourth root of 81 cubed. Fourth root of 81 is 3, because 3 times 9, 3 times 3 is 9, times 3 is 27, times 3 is 81. So we have 3 cubed, and that's 27. Okay, and then one more. Here we have 16 to the exponent negative 3 over 2. So pause that and see what you can do with it. Okay, so I'll start and I'll deal with the negative first. So 1 16th to the exponent 3 over 2. So that's the square root of 1 16th cubed, and that's 1 4th cubed, 1 cubed is 1, and 4 cubed is 64. So in terms of suggestions about how to go about evaluating powers when the exponents are kind of complicated, I would just suggest that you kind of go slowly, go one step at a time, uh, deal with one part of the exponent first, if there's sort of a lot of parts to it, and then write everything down. Um, do not try to go from here to here in your head. You'll definitely get it wrong. Um, but So write down every step of, at a time what's going on, um, and then what you're doing just one part at a time. Okay, good luck.